The record high temperatures have claimed hundreds of lives in the port city of Karachi. The people who are coming in are in a very bad condition and in a state of delirium. Generally, these people have a low chance of surviving. Pakistanis are usually used to rather high temperatures. However, the heat is different than what they are used to. Karachi has had high temperatures before, however, there is usually humidity with it. This time, with the high temperatures, there is a dry heat. And because of this, I think the high heat stroke incidents have been happening. According to the reports, most of the victims of the stifling heat were elderly and children. Unfortunately, there are some patients that arrive in later stages like multi-organ failure, where their organs are not responding and they aren't sweating. It is harder to recover in the later stages. If the patient is brought in earlier stages, then the chance of recovery is almost 100%. For the residents of Karachi, the situation has been aggravated by an acute power shortage. I haven't had power in two days. The problem is that we don't have any electricity. My parents are suffering, my kids are suffering, but nobody cares. What can we do? We are already sick of it. Reports from the city's overcrowded morgues tell that the woes of the victims did not end even with their deaths. Roughly we have about 400 present. In the past three days we have had 400 to 500 bodies come. We have the room for 200 to 250 bodies, but at once a lot of bodies will come in and makes it hard to keep them all there. With casualties reaching almost 900, the Prime Minister has ordered the National Disaster Management Authority to take emergency measures to control the situation. For Shasta Jalil, this is Eman Rizvi for VOA News.